Hi everybody, my name is Tim and I want to thank you for visiting. What I want to talk about is the difference between the old style magnetic field viewing film, like here, and a totally new material based on the magnetochromic effect. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I place these two films side by side, take my ordinary ceramic magnet from a hardware store, and I pass it underneath these films as I rotate it and move it. You can see the color development from the magnetochromic film. It's giving me a lot more information about the magnetic field. But here, let me switch over to my trusty Apple Core rotating device and show you what's going on much more clearly. So here the magnet. Here you can see this white line represents the separation between the two magnetic domains. You've got the North Pole and the South Pole. And then you've got the respective field there. Now, another interesting thing is to look at two magnets hooked together. So here you can see the magnets and their orientation and the separation between the magnets and their respective fields. So that white boundary zone between the different domains. Now, another thing that's interesting to do is to use this film and to look at the, the magnetic field strength at the surface of a magnet. So here I've got a, a ring magnet that came from a, a precision motor, and that's the large ring, and then the small ring is just an ordinary refrigerator magnet. Now, underneath the magnetochromic film, you can see that the large ring is comprised of a number of individual magnets because you've got those white boundary zones and that those fields in each one of those magnets is not very uniform. I was really kind of surprised to see this. On the smaller ring magnet, you can see the, uniform, the magnetic field is not very uniform. Well, I want to thank you for visiting. Um, I appreciate your comments or questions or suggestions. I'm just learning about this material. It's really interesting. And feel free to contact me. Thank you again.